Grade 7 Math, number 9.3D, Area of a Figure on a Coordinate Plane. Well, we've been talking about composite figures a lot lately, haven't we? A composite figure is made up of two or more simpler figures like triangles, quadrilaterals, or semicircles. And to find the area of a composite figure, we divide it into simple, non-overlapping figures. We find the area of each simple figure and total them for the area of the entire composite figure. We draw lines to separate the figures so it'll help us. We look carefully at each composite figure before dividing it up. And now we can plot points on a coordinate plane, connect the points, and find the area of the shape. So I've got our coordinate plane drawn. There's our y-axis that goes vertically up and down. And here's our x-axis that goes horizontally across. And here's our problem. Hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F has vertices remember what vertices are, right? A vertex is a corner of an angle, okay? And if you have more than one, then it's vertices, okay? That's the plural. So hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F has vertices A at negative 2, 4, B at 0, 4, C at 2, 1, D at 5, 1, E at 5, negative 2, and F at negative 2, negative 2. Those are the, the points on the plane, okay? Draw the figure on a coordinate plane. What is the area of the hexagon? So we know it's going to be a hexagon, all right? It's going to have six sides. So we think a hexagon is any polygon with six sides. It doesn't have to be shaped like that. It just has six sides. So we plot all the points first, then we draw the lines to connect them, and remember, it goes x, then y. So our numbers for our coordinate pairs here these are coordinate pairs, negative 2, 4. That's x and that's y. So a is negative 2, 4. So x is going to be negative 2, and then it's going to be 4 for y, which means it's right there. We got to the negative 2 on the x, and then we went up to 4, and where they meet, that's where a is, okay? b is 0, 4, so it's 0 on the x, that's 0 right here in the middle of the origin, and 4 on the y, which means it's right here. So it went from 0 all the way up to 4, and that's where the two points meet. c is 2, comma 1, x is on the 2, and the y is at 1, and where the 2 and 1 meet, that's c's point. d is 5, 1, so it's 5 on the x, 1 on the y. See, y is 1, 5 is x, and that's where they meet. E is 5, negative 2, so we find 5 on the x-axis right here, and then we go down to negative 2 for the y-axis, so E is right here. And then F is negative 2, negative 2, so on the x-axis we find negative 2, there it is, and then we go down to negative 2 for the y, and where those two points meet at that intersection is F. So now we've got all our points plotted on the coordinate plane. Now we need to connect them and make a hexagon. So A to B is right here, and then it's going to go down like this to C. You ever do connect the dots in, uh, in grade school? C to D is there, D to E is there, and then E to F is here, and then F back to A. And we should have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that is a hexagon, believe it or not, because it's a six-sided polygon. Any six-sided polygon is a hexagon. Doesn't have to be shaped like that, okay? So can you see how we can break this up already? Can you see the smaller figures that we can make out of this? Well, I see a rectangle and a rectangle and a triangle. So we've got a little rectangle here, and it's 2 by 3. So a rectangle is length times width, and it's 3 by 2, so that's 6. So there's 6 units in this one, okay? I see a big rectangle here. See it? And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares, and 1, 2, 3 squares. So that's 7 by 3. That's 21 squares. So this big thing is 21, and then now I see this triangle, and triangle is half base height. 
So we've got a base of 1, 2, and a height of 1, 2, 3. So we've got half 2 times 3, or half 6. Half of 6 is 3. So we've got 6, 21, and 3 for our areas. We add them up, and we get 30 square units. So our weird hexagon is 30 weird units. This one was 3, wasn't it? That wasn't that hard, was it? All you have to remember is when you're plotting the points for these coordinate pairs in the parentheses here that X is first and then Y. And just be very careful as you do it and then connect all your dots for your outer perimeter, okay? And you should be able to break up your composite figure into different shapes and figure out what the area is, okay? All right, so that's it for composite shapes. We're going to move on to the next topic. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter now, and we can actually talk to each other on Twitter, can't we? And if you want to support my ad-free math videos, you can go to patreon.com and become a regular monthly patron. See you next video. Bye.